So hey guys, it's Paul and in today's video, today's episode of First Year Dad, I'm gonna talk about four reasons why you're not losing weight. So if you're watching this video and you've been trying to lose weight for the past few weeks, the past few months, the past few years, whatever it is, these four reasons may be holding you back. Now, this video here is obviously slightly different to the videos that I normally create, but I wanted to create this because a lot of the time when you don't lose weight, and this is something that I learned personally, it's all down to the mentality you have, it's all down to the mindset you have. And this is a, you know one of the main reasons why you cannot lose the weight that you want to lose. So I wanted to dive in straight away and highlight those four reasons. Those four reasons that is holding you back from being able to lose weight, from being able to get that body that you want, from being able to be healthier and to live a more you know healthier lifestyle. These are the main four reasons that are easily going to shift your mindset and going to make losing weight a lot easier. So the first reason is really simple and that is that you're overthinking it. Now there's hundreds if not thousands of diets out there. There's hundreds if not thousands of workouts. There's so much conflicting advice as well. You could go onto one YouTube video or one blog and they tell you that eating a lot of protein is good for you. Then you could go to another one and they say, don't eat a lot of protein. You could go to one blog and it says eat X amount of calories. Another one says that that's too many calories. There's so much conflicting advice that it just gets confusing. And what you tend to do is you overcomplicate it. You look for the perfect solution to losing weight. Now when we hunt for the perfect solution, we typically tend to find a quick fix, something that's gonna get us those results fast, and typically that isn't the best thing to do. Now this is where your mentality, your mindset is extremely important because you already know what's healthy. You don't need someone to tell you that this food is healthy and this workout and this diet plan is the one that you should be going for because you already know it. You know the difference between a carrot and a carrot cake. You know that a carrot is healthier than you than, than a slice of carrot cake. But having that mentality, that mindset to choose the carrot over the carrot cake is what you're missing right now. So you need to get into that mindset, that mentality. And you know, when you overcomplicate it, you look for the perfect solution, it really does make things harder. So instead of overcomplicating it, all you wanna do is find a simple solution, something that's um, easy, fits into your plans, and most importantly, this is the key word, is sustainable. If a diet plan, if a workout plan is sustainable to you, to your lifestyle, it's gonna be something that you can do. So when you choose that nutrition plan, when you choose that workout plan, how many times you're going to work out, ask yourself this question, are you gonna be able to do this for the next 10 years? If that answer is yes, then that is the plan that you should be going for. So once you've stopped overthinking it, the second reason why you may not be losing weight is because you don't have a strong enough reason, you don't have a strong enough why. Most times, we always say that we want to lose weight, we want to get healthier, we want to get in a better shape because we want to look good, we want to impress people. That is typically the, 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 you know, the reason why people want to lose weight. Now that you know, isn't a strong enough reason. This happens with everything. I've spoke about this in other videos. If you want to achieve something, then you need to have a strong enough reason. You need to have a strong enough why. So if, for example, you want to lose weight because you want to look good, is that reason strong enough to put you in that mentality and that mindset to eat healthier, to cut out sugar, to work out more often? It probably isn't going to be. Whereas if you had to get in, you know, if you had to lose, let's say, 10 kilograms over the next three months because you you're gonna get a dream job if you did that pays a lot better than you are, that's a strong enough reason to put you in that mindset to do it. Think of all these actors, think of all these actresses that get in amazing shape for a specific role for a film. You know, they go from someone who's been who isn't in great shape to amazing shape within a short space of time. And the reason they do that is yes, they have a personal trainer, yes, they have a solid nutrition plan to follow, but they have a strong reason. If they don't get in that shape, they're not getting the role. They're not getting the paycheck. They're not getting the exposure that they get from that role. So make sure you have a strong enough reason. And, and a way that you can do that is add some accountability. There's a really, really good app called Diet Bet that you can get involved in. And, and this is, you know, it puts money to losing weight. So you can earn money if you lose weight. And you can also bet money. And if you don't lose weight, then obviously you can lose the money. There's a various ways that you can do it. You can have a bet with a friend. You could say, if I don't lose X amount of weight in the next, you know, three months, then I'm going to 
give you this amount of money. If someone, if you do achieve it, maybe they can give you something. If you don't achieve it, you could give something away, but that accountability needs to be there. You need to publicly share it. You need to tell people that you're doing this because this is gonna give you a strong enough reason to lose that weight. Now, the third reason is you're restricting yourself. Everyone thinks of a diet in the fact that you have to restrict yourself. Don't use the word diet for, for, for you know to start with. It's a lifestyle change. This is something that, as I mentioned in the first reason, it needs to be sustainable. It needs to be a lifestyle change. A diet typically triggers your mind to think of restrictions, that you cannot have something. Now, what happens when you cannot have something? You want it even more. It's as simple as that. You want it even more. They did psychology tests with, um, you know, with children under the age of five before where they sat them in a room and said, here's a chocolate bar. If you don't touch this chocolate bar in the next 10 minutes, I'll give you two chocolate bars. You know, all of the children ate that chocolate bar because it's, it's there. It's that instant gratification. This is what we want. So a lot of the time when you restrict yourself from, you know, treats, from things that you want, it's going to make you want them more. So you need to stop restricting yourself. You know, if you're trying to lose weight, it doesn't mean that you cannot have a slice of cake. It doesn't mean that you cannot have a cookie. This isn't gonna make a huge impact if you're eating well 80% of the time, 90% of the time. If you're working out, you know, three times a week at least, or two times a week, whatever you can commit to, that treat is okay. Don't restrict yourself. When you have it, don't feel guilty. The issue is, is when you're treating yourself 80% of the time, when you're eating healthy 20% of the time, and you're expecting to lose weight, it isn't going to happen. So eat well for 80% of the time. If you want to treat for, you know, 20% of the time, do it. Don't restrict yourself because it's going to make things harder. It's going to make you give up. And then reason number four is you're comparing yourself to others. How many times have you been on Instagram? How many times have you been on YouTube and you've seen someone with a physique or a body that you want and you've compared yourself to them and you've made yourself feel crap because you've obviously, you haven't got that body. Now, so many times we compare ourselves to others, especially with social media nowadays, it makes it extremely easy. Now, you don't want to use them as a comparison to put you down. Comparing yourself to others is a battle that you're never going to win. I did a video on this before and Simply, if you compare yourself to someone else, you're always gonna compare the areas that you're not happy with. If you're happy in an area of your life, you're not gonna compare yourself to someone else and say that they've got more than you. You're only gonna compare yourself to others in areas that you're not happy with. So you're never ever gonna win, it's as simple as that. So when you compare yourself to others, it's fine to do, but use that as inspiration. Someone out there who's human, who's just like you, has been able to lose weight and achieve the body that you want. Use that as inspiration, you can do it too. And alongside that as well, guys, you also want to reward yourself. It's very easy to keep your eye on the end goal. The, this body that you want, this, this weight that you want to get to, and you don't reward yourself throughout the process. You wanna be rewarding yourself for every pound you lose, for every you know, inch of muscle that you gain, whatever your goals are. You wanna be rewarding yourself for every healthy meal that you eat, and it, all of this rewarding is going to keep you on that track. If you're always thinking about the end goal, it's gonna keep, put, you're gonna keep putting yourself down when you haven't achieved it. So a lot of the time people wanna lose, let's say three stone, or they wanna lose 10 kilograms, and they're always stuck on that end goal that they're not rewarding themselves for the first kilogram that they lose, for the second kilogram that they, they lose. So you wanna be rewarding yourself throughout the process, because that's gonna keep you in that positive mentality to keep pushing forward and keep losing weight. So there we have it guys, a little bit different to my typical videos. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully this is gonna get you in that mentality, that mindset to lose weight, to get healthier and to change your lifestyle. It is really, really important. If you're trying to become a better version of yourself, living a healthier life, looking after your body is, is really, really important. I, I wanted to share that lesson with you today. But you know, from personal experience, from people that I've worked with, a lot of it is a mindset shift. It's a mentality that you need to get in to get healthier and to lose that weight. So just to recap on those four reasons. Number one, don't overthink it. Don't overcomplicate it. Just find a plan and follow it, something that's going to be sustainable to you. Number two is obviously have a strong enough reason, you know, add some accountability, public accountability, have a bet with someone, something that's going to help you stay on the track to losing weight. The third one is don't restrict yourself, have the odd treat, eat well 80%, 90% of the time and treat yourself 20%, 10% of the time. Don't restrict yourself from having a cookie, have a cookie if you want a cookie because restricting yourself isn't going to give you any benefits at all. And then last but 
but not least, number four is don't compare yourself to others. Stop comparing yourself to someone else who's already achieved what you want. Use those as inspiration. Don't compare yourself and put yourself down. And of course, as well, you really, really want to reward yourself for the progress that you're making. Don't always just focus, focus on the end goal. You really want to reward yourself for the process. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video, like this video, comment on this video, do what you need to do. If you're enjoying the first year dad series as well, don't forget to um, follow and, and share this playlist. I'm gonna be hitting you with some more updates and this is slightly different to the lessons I typically share in the first year dad series, but I really wanted to share this video. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Thank you.